recipe for bistake. Okay, so okay. what we have here is... What I'm using is the top sirloin uh, round steak. You have to slice it into the thin uh, size like this. So it, this uh, this would be easy for, for you to fry and get tender. So we have to rinse it and drain. And drain it. Okay, okay. set aside and then you will be needing uh, three uh, fresh lemon and then you have to squeeze the juice. Okay. Uh, this is fresh, not the... How many cups is there. that? In uh, I believe this is uh, more than a cup. Oh yeah, oh, it's a cup. one cup. Yeah. So it's one cup, one cup of, of uh, lemon juice. Lemon juice. So half a cup of soy half sauce. Half a cup of soy sauce. And now I'm going to add this into this. Mix it with the soy sauce. And sometimes it depends on your taste. If you want it, uh, maybe just one third more. Okay. So half a cup and then a third cup uh -huh. more a of third soy cup. sauce. Put a little bit of uh, salt, just a little bit, just a dash of pepper. And what you're going to do, you are going to mix this in here. Put it everything, uh, marinate it. You can do it. Uh, you can do this the same day, maybe for an hour. But uh, since uh, we have enough time, so we can we can marinate this for overnight. So in goes the meat, and we'll marinate it till tomorrow. So here's the meat after it marinated overnight in all the lemon juice and soy sauce. We've already cut up three potatoes. Is it three potatoes or four? Uh, I think it's four. Yeah. Four potatoes and then you cut up one whole onion in rings. So next step is to fry up the meat using canola oil. Just one enough to coat your Make sure the meat is fully cooked. Yeah, not bloody. <laughs> and not bloody. So the meat is cooked and I'm gonna transfer it into a bowl. And then you cook the rest of your meat. Yes. until all of your meat is completely cooked. So that's the last batch of the meat. And you want to reserve the remaining sauce. That's right there, that's the leftover soy sauce and um, lemon. So the last batch is cooked. Oil. You can use the same oil for. So you want to keep the remaining of whatever is in the pan. Yeah, just a little bit. And then you're going to add additional oil. That's good for that. This is optional. You don't have to add potatoes, but in my like case, potatoes. I love it. I like potatoes in this state. And cook it till they're brown. Brown on both sides. So if the potatoes are already semi-soft, you can just set them aside in a bowl. So she's basically just feeling if the potatoes are tender in the center. Is to add in the onions. The sliced onions. The sliced onions. I'm gonna cook these at medium. Halfway. Halfway. Yeah, medium high heat, halfway cook. If your pan is a little dry, add more oil. Okay, now this one, this is 
Then you add in the remaining sauce, let it boil. So once it's boiling, you add in the meat. The meat. Right. Then we're going to add a little pinch or dash of pepper. Then add in the onions. So now we're going to add in the potatoes. Yeah, this is optional if you guys want it, but in my case, I like the potatoes. <laughs> yeah, potatoes are actually good. So her secret, her secret ingredient is to add a little bit of sugar, maybe a half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. So it's all done. I'm gonna go ahead and plate it up and show you the results.